Okay. See question number 15. If mean and standard deviation of 5 observations, x1 up to x5, are 10 is mean and standard deviation is 3 respectively. Then variance of 6 observations. See here 5, here 6 they are asking. But what about 6th observation? 6th observation is minus 50. You have to add minus 50. Or else we can say minus 50 how to subtract. 50 how to subtract. Okay, 50 how to subtract and minus 50 how to add. Then we have to find variance. Variance with the 6. Okay, see here how I am writing. Uh, first I will write n1 is equal to 5. n2 is equal to 6. Okay. And see, this is mean. Mean means you shall write x1 bar is equal to 10. And uh, this is standard deviation. Sigma is equal to 3, sigma 1. Or sigma 1 square is equal to 9. Sigma 1 square is equal to 9. Okay. mean and standard deviation 10 and 3 then automatically variance will be 3 square 9 you know. you see now see how can i write this sigma x1 is equal to see 5 are there 10 into 5 sigma x1 that means see, sigma x1 will be 50 okay that is one thing. Another thing. Uh, variance square. Sorry, variance. Sigma 1 square is equal to, see, sigma x1 square by n1 minus mean square. Okay? Uh, now, See, sigma 1 square 9 already they have given. 9 is equal to sigma x1 square we don't know but n1 we know 5 minus mean we know mean is 10 square that means 100. And uh, see what, what will be the sigma x1 square by 5 is equal to 109 or else sigma x1 square is equal to 5 nines are 45, 5 zero zero 4, 5 ones are 5. Okay. Sigma x1 square also you have got. Now what else you require? Sigma x1 you know, sigma x1 square you know, n1 you know, l2 you know, x1 bar you know. Okay. Uh, now proceed for uh, second one. See, we have to find sigma 2 square variance. For six observations, n2 is six uh, sigma 2 square. We have to find variance. Six observations. Sixth observation is minus 50. That means what I can say say sigma x2 is equal to sigma x1 plus minus 50. Okay, well, because see sigma x1 is there, you have to add minus 50 to that. Place. Six observations will come. Okay. That means see, sigma x1, how much it has come? 50. That means see, 50 minus 50, that is equal to 0. That means see, your sigma x2 is 0. Understand? Sigma x2 is 0. Now, for variance, what formula you have? Sigma x2 square, uh, that also you have to find. See, sigma x2 square is equal to sigma x1 square plus minus 50 square. Okay, one more we have to add, minus 50 square. Sigma x1 square, how much you have got? 545. Plus, minus 50 or plus 50, square means 2500. Okay, 2500 and 500, 3000, 3045. Is it okay? 545 is there, 50 square feet, 2500 plus 500, 3045. 3, See, sigma x2 square is 3045. Then, first you write the formula. 
राइट द फार्मूला फॉर सिग्मा 2 स्क्वायर सी इज सिग्मा 2 स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा x2 स्क्वायर बाय n2 माइनस x2 बार स्क्वायर सी x2 बार मींस ही ऑलरेडी सिग्मा x2 मींस ही x2 बार सिग्मा x2 इज जीरो मींस ही हियर जीरो विल कम Okay, right. Let me write once again. That is equal to sigma x2 square by n2 minus sigma x2 by n2 whole square. See, this is zero. That is why you need not consider this guy. That is equal to sigma x2 square. Sigma x2 square will be 3045. Sir, n2 n2 will be six. Sir, minus zero. Okay. See six five sir. Zero six nine. Let me do this uh, division. See three zero four five. I am doing with the six. Okay nine plus three twelve. Twelve. Twelve will go three two sir. Three fifteen. Sorry. Three two sir, three one sir. Okay, three ten sir, three one sir. Fifteen three five sir. Okay, that means see one zero one five with the two and one see two five sir. Ten R S fifty sir hundred fifty two seven sir fourteen one point zero five. Five zero seven point five. Not five zero nine. Five zero seven point five. Okay. I will go for next question.